welcome back to the love series day three. I hope you all are enjoying it so far. Grab your blocks if you have blocks or maybe grab a pillow, whichever one or neither. Go ahead and sit up on that block and let's bring our feet together in butterfly pose. The more your knees fall down, and you can bring your feet out too if you feel any strain, the more your hips will open up. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders down away from your ears, and just close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in. Empty out that exhale. Make room for fresh, fresh oxygen. <laughs> Deep breath in. Empty out your exhale. On your next breath in, start to let go of everything else you have going on and try to become present on your mat. Deep inhale. Empty out that exhale. Let's go ahead and twist over to the right. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Look over your right shoulder and take a breath. Any type of twisting is really beneficial to your body. It detoxifies your organs. Uh, it should help with constipation. And come back through the center. Take it over to the left, look over that shoulder. Right hand is on your left knee, back is straight. And breathe. Let's go ahead and grab our ankles at the same time keeping your spine straight. So we're not rounding through the back here. We're keeping a nice, long, flat back. And slowly begin to pull yourself forward. Even sitting up on the block, you don't have to come all the way down. We just want to open up those hips. You should also feel um, your lower back starting to stretch. And try to keep that neck in line with your spine. It's hard for me, I have to look up to talk to you, but you want to look down at your feet. And if you're able to come all the way down, go for it and breathe. We're gonna rise up, keeping that flat back, and go ahead and remove the block or the pillow at this time. We're gonna come into a regular seat, so just crisscross applesauce, or you can have one foot in front of the other. Let's go ahead and take it over to the right, stretching our side body. Make sure both sits bones are on the mat, so you don't wanna lift to stretch over more. You wanna lift up and over and then push down through your sits bones. Take a deep breath in. And let's exhale and round our backs over our lap and come over to the other side. Keeping our chest open, both sits bones on the mat. Deep breath in, exhale, round through to the other side. Deep breath in, exhale, round it through. And last one, take a breath. And come back up. Let's grab our right leg and hug it in close to our chest, sitting up nice and tall, kind of like it's a baby. Hold it like a baby. And we're gonna rock it to the right. Try sitting up as tall as you can. And if you need to lower the leg down, go for it. We're opening up those hips, preparing for one day being able to do a full split. And I know you think I'm crazy. Go ahead and lower that leg down. Let's bring the left leg in front this time. But like I said, if we do the right stretching, 
then we will get there. Go ahead and rock your left leg. And bring it down. Let's come right into our tabletop. Let's just do a couple cat cows just to stretch out our backs. So feet are flat on the mat. Legs are right under your hips, tightening that core, straight flat back, neck is in line with your spine, gaze is down, hands are directly under your shoulders. We're going to open our chest, roll your shoulders back slightly. We don't need to crank our neck to get our chin up to the sky. And take a deep breath in, exhale, round through, chin to chest, Really pushing through your mat with your legs and your hands. Really rounding through that back. One more time, breathe in, open up. Chest open, shoulders come back. And exhale, round through into your cat pose. Come back to a neutral spine. Right leg comes out, stretch that calf. That feels so good. Take a breath and lift that right leg. We're gonna do some rainbow kicks. So if you wanna point your toes, you can. I'm gonna bring it over to the left side, coming over my left leg and coming back to the right side. So you lift and come back. You really wanna make a point to kind of make like a little mountain top because that's really going to benefit your glute. And of course, we don't hold our breath. So instead of just like rounding it, that's going to make my spine really jump around and I don't want that. So if I do a slow and controlled V or upside down V, you see how much my body stays still and I'm utilizing that glute much more. Okay, bring it in. I'm sure your glute is on fire like mine. Bring that left leg back. We're gonna stretch that calf. Just place the ball of the foot on the mat and push back with your heel. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lifting that left leg, tightening the core, and let's do our rainbow. Kicks. And I know it's called a kick, but I really want it slow and controlled. You're going to get much more benefit than if you're hauling ass, you know, throwing your spine around. <laughs> when it's more slow and controlled movement, you're utilizing that part of your body much more. Don't hold your breath. And bring it back. Let's sit back, stretching through those glutes. Bring them back to your heels. Oh, hi, Zoe. Forehead can come to the mat. It doesn't have to. If you have trouble getting your forehead to the mat in this version of child's pose, a great place for a block would be here to rest your forehead on. And round through your back. Let's come right into our downward dog. Lock out those legs, stretching the backs of our legs, breathing. Consciously never holding our breath. Yoga is gonna be a lot harder if you hold your breath. Give those muscles the oxygen they need. Tip that tailbone up towards the sky. As soon as you tip, that tailbone up towards the sky. I'll do it one more time so you can see me. I tip my tailbone to the sky. It straightens my spine. It brings my chest closer to my legs. And then from there, I try to push down with my heels. It's okay if your heels don't touch the mat. Mine don't either. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's round it through. Coming into a plank and chaturanga. If you need to drop your knees down, 
then come forward and meet us in an upward facing dog. Or take a breath in, exhale, flip those feet, open it up. Deep breath in, bend those knees, curl those toes, exhale back into your downward dog. Tip that tailbone up to the sky. Push down through those heels. On your next breath in, right leg reaches high. Three-legged dog. Push down through that heel that's on the mat. Square those hips. And pulse. Small, controlled pulse. If you point your toe, I think it will help. And breathe. Breathe in, come through center, and exhale. Oh, hold on. Hang on. That's my child. Come into your low lunge. Yes, I'm recording. Yes. Close the gate, okay? Mom left. Sorry, she wanted to ask if she could have lunch with her friends. Okay, where were we? Coming back to our low lunge. Lower that leg down and slowly rise up. Arms overhead, steeple grip. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, open that chest. And we're gonna bring chest to thigh and hands to the mat. Pop up on that back leg. Come into your plank. Come right into your downward dog. I'll be nice. <laughs> Walk it out, stretching through the backs of those legs and breathe. Tailbone towards the sky. On your next breath in, left leg comes high. Three-legged dog. Push down through that right heel on the mat. We're gonna pulse. Pointing the toe will keep that leg straight. And again, you want slow, small, controlled movements as we pulse. And breathe in. We're gonna exhale and step it up. The more you bring that leg up and make some height in your upper back, the more you'll be able to kick that leg up between the hands. And if you still are falling a little short, help it along at the ankle. Back leg comes down, foot's flat. We're gonna rise up, arms overhead, steeple grip. Point your fingers, point towards the sky. We're gonna open our chest. Small back bend, breathe in, exhale, sink into that front hip, bringing belly towards the thigh, and frame that front foot, pop up on the back foot, come into a plank, sliding that foot back. Chaturanga, drop your knees down if you need, deep breath in, exhale, Open it up. Wild thing. Turning towards the left, I'm gonna bring my right foot behind on the ball of my foot, and I'm gonna lift my hips and my chest and breathe. I'm on the side of that foot that's on the mat. And turning, coming back to a plank, chaturanga. Deep breath in, exhale. And to do wild thing, you do not need to do a full chaturanga because you're gonna meet us in upward facing dog anyway. So we're gonna start turning to the right, bringing that left foot behind, lift those hips, open that chest and breathe. Turning our upper body, coming back to a plank, wide legged, Child pose, sit back. Glutes to the heels. Slide those hands forward, bring that forehead to the mat and breathe. See, I'm not cruel. I 
give you guys breaks. Lord knows I need them too. And slowly round through that back. Come back to your tabletop. Come back to downward dog. Walk out and breathe. Right leg comes high, deep breath in. Exhale, round through, make some height with that upper back. And come into a plank stance, coming over those hands. Step it up. Keeping that back leg lifted. If you push back with your heel, squeeze your inner thighs. Rise up. Front leg has a 90 degree bend or close to. You don't want that knee over the ankle. We're gonna breathe in, steeple grip. Straighten that front leg. Come back, bending that front knee. Deep breath in. Straighten that front leg, slow controlled movements. Exhale, bend. Come back up. Breathe in. Exhale, bend, belly to thigh, frame that foot, come back to a plank, right to your downward dog, and breathe. Stretch through those heels, calves, hamstrings, stretch those heels towards the mat, and tuck that tailbone up to the sky. On your next breath in, left leg comes high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, coming through, making some height through that upper back. Step it up. If you need to kind of wiggle that back leg back to widen your stance, go for it. Squeezing those inner thighs, tightening your core, pushing back to that back heel. Arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, steeple grip those fingers. Straighten that front leg. Breathe in. Exhale, bend. Straighten, breathe in. Exhale, bend. I know it's hard. One more time. Breathe in to straighten. Exhale, bring that belly towards your thigh. Frame the, the foot and come back to your plank. Knees, sit back, hands towards the sky in child's pose. Feeling that heart beating, your heart rate is now up. You're officially doing cardio. Round through that back, eyes on up. Walk it out. On our next breath in, we're going to lift up to the balls of our feet. And we're going to walk like flamingos. Or like we have heels, high heels on. To the front of our mat. Coming into our forward fold. Small bend in your knee. Activate, really pop those muscles out. Tighten the core. That will help you bend over more. Eventually getting that tailbone up towards the sky. More of your weight should be in your toes. And if you can't reach the ground, use a block or pop up on your fingertips or bend your knees more. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly rise up. Head comes up last, mountain pose. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna do some balance poses. <clears throat> so we're gonna come into chair pose. Tuck that tailbone, lift your chest, sit back like you're about to sit into a chair. Bring most of the weight into your left foot. And we're gonna 
slowly lift. See if you can kick out the right leg, utilizing that quad to lift. It doesn't need to be high. And exhale. Hands up by your shoulders, coming right into warrior three. You can have a small bend in that left leg. See if you can just drop down. You might need to heel toe a little wider into your warrior two. Front leg is 90 degrees or as close to as you can get it. We just don't want that knee over the ankle. Arms come out. Take a deep breath in, flip that front palm, reach. Exhale your way into peaceful warrior. Keep that bend. You can look up towards the sky, breathing. You can place your hand on your back leg. And straighten that front leg. Coming back to warrior two arms, right into your triangle. From here, you might want to open yourself up. You really want it so that your back, so that you're leaning up against a wall, your whole body is flat up against a wall. And breathe. Coming back up. Bending on that front leg, coming back to your warrior two. Turn on that back leg. So you come to the ball of the, that back foot. Now you're in your High lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bend the front leg. And see if you can flat back over. You can also place your fingertips on the mat. And breathe. Make sure your spine is long and you're not grounding. Keep that spine nice and long. Bending. Coming into a low lunge. We're gonna bend on that back leg, baby step, back up to the front, into your forward fold. Again, activating, really pushing through, feeling those muscles, straining, not straining, but you know, flex, flex those quads. That's what I mean when I say activate. And then we're gonna tighten the core, coming into your forward fold. Breathing. You can grab opposite elbows, sway it side to side. Close your eyes. Feel the stretch in the back of the thighs. And on your next breath in, slowly rise. Exhale, arms overhead. Hands to heart. Bringing our feet together. Sitting down into your chair, tuck the tailbone, open your chest, sit a little deeper. This time we're going to bring all of our weight to our right foot and we're going to gently lift the left leg. Using that quad muscle, coming straight out in front, arms come straight out, and then we're going to slowly and into warrior three. Flexing that back foot, hands come right by your shoulders, like you're like, stop. Deep breath in, exhale, let the mat catch you. Fall back on that back foot, come right into your warrior two. Deep breath in, flip that front palm, stretch it front. Exhale, come back to your peaceful warrior. Look up to the sky, breathe. Coming back to your warrior two, straighten on that front leg, coming right into your triangle. And maybe you open up from here, or maybe you use your block here. You wanna have a nice straight back so you're up against the wall. Breathing. Coming back up, warrior two arms. We're gonna, I'm gonna heel toe in so my stance 
stance isn't as wide because I tend to come wide in my warrior two. And I'm gonna bend my front leg and then I'm gonna start turning on my back leg, coming into high lunge. Take a breath. I'm gonna straighten that front leg. And I'm gonna slowly, with a flat back, then bring my fingertips down. Now we're in pyramid. Hop up on the ball of that back foot. Keeping that spine nice and straight, neck in line with your spine. And then bending the front foot. Now we're in lunge. Frame that foot. Bring that front leg to the back, coming into your plank. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, down into your chaturanga. Open it up. Bend. Let's swing those legs around. And come on to our booties. Coming into boat pose. You might want to use a block and place it behind you. That will help give you a little more balance. It'll help you build up the core to hold it on your own. If you're good and you don't need the block, find that sweet spot. So there's a spot for me, I feel my butt bone, and then right before I hit my tailbone, I have a little like flat spot. That allows me, if I keep my chest lifted and my core tight, to lift my legs. Now you can let go with your fingers. Hands come out to the sides or keep them on the mat or behind your legs. Or maybe you straighten your right leg, holding that boat pose. Come back through. Straighten the left leg and breathe. Right leg straightens. Left leg. One more on each side, you can do it. You don't give up. And give those knees a hug. I know you're probably pressing me out. And that's okay. Because guess who you won't be cussing out when you have a six pack? Me. You'll be thanking me. So I say cuss now, thank later. Okay? If you have a block, grab it. If you don't, we're going to do bridge pose. So let me show you what it looks like without. We're going to bring our feet close to our glutes, knees in line with your hips. Hands come down to your sides, and you're going to lift those hips up. You can also interlace your fingers underneath to help close in those shoulder blades to give you a little more height. But you want to keep those knees in line. You don't want them splaying out. If you have a block, this is a great way to practice your bridge by coming up Placing it on the lower back, sacrum area of your back, and just holding it here, and breathe. If you do not have a block and you're just in regular boat pose, come down, take a break, and do it one more time. If you are on your block, I want you to bring your right leg out, just under that left knee. Eventually, we'll do this without the block. Bring it in. Bring that left leg out. Flex the foot. Keep it low beneath that knee. And bring it in. Go ahead and remove the block. Everybody come down. Right leg comes up. Cross it over your left. We're going to thread the needle. So we're going to lift that left leg up now and intertwine our fingertips behind our left leg. So the leg that's not crossed over. And then we're gonna bring both legs in towards
towards our chest. This is like a reverse pigeon. So if when we're in pigeon pose on our legs, on our mats, and if it's too much, this is a great uh, modification while we're in that pose. It does absolutely the same exact thing. And just breathe. You can also use that right elbow to push out that crossed leg and give you a little bit more stretch. And let's lower it down. Left leg comes up now, cross it over. Lift that right leg up parallel with the sky. Interlace your fingers around that thigh and bring it in towards your chest. It should feel really good. If you feel any kind of strain, just back off a little bit and breathe. If you want to close your eyes, you can close your eyes.
December 31st. So that's my goal. All right, let's go ahead and stretch it over to the left. Try to keep that chest as open as you can, keeping both sits bones on the mat and breathe. Coming back up through center, stretch it over to the right, keeping that chest nice and open. Take a breath. One more. And rise up. And doing, doing middle splits and regular left and right splits, it's only gonna make you more flexible for other positions. So it's serving a lot of purposes. Let's go ahead and lay down into our corpse pose. We'll just do a quick meditation. If you want a longer meditation, go ahead and pause the video and do your meditation for as long as you want. Becoming nice and comfortable, sinking deeply into the mat, relax any part of you that has tension. The glutes and the jaw usually have the most tension. We always tend to squeeze our butt cheeks. <laughs> Release those, release your jaw, close your eyes, and just breathe nice and slowly. I'm gonna keep quiet. I'm only gonna be here for a few moments. Go ahead and start now. chakras so there is a purpose behind it we're not just chanting all right let's go ahead and take a deep breath in uh... and the three syllables are uh, ooh, um, um, it's basically calling your mind, body, and soul to become one. So anyway, next deep breath in. Um, give yourself a smile, hands to heart. Maybe you feel silly nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it feels good to feel silly, right? You can open your eyes. Um, I'm not like this huge, you know, yoga guru. I'm just forwarding on the knowledge that I learned to you guys for free. That's my aim. That's my goal. I want you guys to have access to yoga for free. That is not intimidating. You don't need to be like a monk you don't need to be this, you know, professional yogi. Like, it doesn't need to be taken that serious. It, it's, it can be for anyone and everyone. That's what I'm trying to get across here. So, anyway, hands to heart. 
I hope you guys enjoyed day three of my love series, and I hope to see you back for tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. Yeah. See you tomorrow for day four. Bye.